Hi everybody, it's Linda. Welcome back to Tips For You. Well today I want to talk to you about oil pulling. Um, everywhere you read, oil pulling is supposed to be very beneficial for your gums and your teeth and uh, general well-being of your body. So I wanted to do a video today to tell you about my experience with oil pulling and perhaps give you some food for thought on why it may not be for you. So what is oil pulling? I'll tell you briefly if you're not familiar with it. Oil pulling is when you take a spoonful of oil. Um, it's usually coconut oil, but it has also been uh, sesame seed oil and sunflower oil has also been used. And um, you place this oil into your mouth and then you swish it around for 20 minutes and you pull it between your teeth. You know, you use the strength of your jaw and your mouth to pull it between your teeth and it's supposed to grab the bacteria and the toxins in your mouth and then you discard it into the garbage um, after about 20 minutes and then you'll you know rinse your mouth and brush your teeth as you normally would. It has its history in Ayurvedic medicine um, dating back probably five to ten thousand years. So that's where it comes from and the reason why everyone is using coconut oil is because they say it has the antiviral and antibacterial properties, it whitens the teeth, it tastes better. Um, all of that is the reason why everyone's using the coconut oil as opposed to what was traditionally used, which was the sesame oil. Um, so I was very excited to try it. Uh, I had read so many wonderful things about it on you know sites that I regularly read from that I trust um, their viewpoints and things and it was something that people were very passionate about that they thought it really changed their lives and they were feeling so much better and the health of their mouth and teeth had improved so much so I was very excited to try it so I did and I was all getting ready to tell you guys about my wonderful experience with it only that's not the way I found it unfortunately for me um, it left me with a number of issues and I want to share those issues with you but what it also led me to do was do further research into it and so I started reading and I came up with some information for you that I'd like you to mull over and think about and see what you think and let me know in the comments below your experience um, and just remember it's my opinion so you may love working with it and it may not be a problem for you but for me I noticed it immediately and what I noticed was um, immediately I had tooth sensitivity where I don't normally and you should know that I don't have any problems with my oral health or my teeth I was merely doing this because of the therapeutic benefits of doing the oil pulling and I wanted to do it as well everyone talks about how wonderful it is and it whitens your teeth so I thought hey we can all have whiter teeth right so that's why I gave it a go but like I said I immediately had tooth sensitivity in fact in my rear molars I had a lot of sensitivity my jaw was hurting um, and for the next 24 to 48 hours sometime in that time period my mouth felt so dry like it's never felt before I just couldn't get that same moistened feeling from my mouth anymore my mouth felt like I had rinsed it with you know um, vinegar or something for an extended period of time and oil is acidic so I can see where that could have caused it but I feel like it removed something beneficial from my mouth. My teeth also felt that way. They felt very dry and almost like how I can describe it to you is if let's say you overwash your face and you remove all your beneficial oils and you've got that squeaky clean feeling but it never goes away. You never make those oils back again. Well my teeth felt so squeaky clean but my whole mouth felt like that. Like really dry like I almost couldn't produce enough saliva to feel normal and then it kind of made my voice hoarse and my throat was bothering me so here we have the tooth sensitivity then I started to that that caused me to think to myself wait a minute maybe this isn't for everyone let me look up whether or not people have issues with it and I found a whole slew of things I'm going to share with you one being people um, have lost fillings as well as crowns and that makes a lot of sense to me um, we've all had dental repairs maybe the few of us who haven't 
won't experience any problems, but for those of us that have fillings or crowns or caps, and I don't have crowns or caps, but I do have fillings, there were people who have had bad experiences. They started oil pulling and within a week or two had lost, had their crown fell out, their filling fell out. And yes, there was a lot of information out there that said, well, your crown or your filling was probably loose anyway and it was going to come out. So therefore, you know, it was just a matter of time and that could very well be. However, teeth are porous. Um, we do eat acidic foods, we eat things that do cause our teeth to become porous, the enamel of porous, and then your body remineralizes it and strengthens it again. So it is possible that the oil being oil, also being acidic, could leach into your teeth, could get underneath your fillings, could destabilize your resins, and could loosen things. So I wasn't willing to take that chance, especially after I wasn't feeling it. In fact, the teeth I have that had fillings were the ones were bothering me the most. So I just wanted to share also this. Oil is actually a very good cleanser. It does break down glues and resins. When I paint, and I do all the painting in my house, I never use any harsh chemicals to remove paint from my skin, whether it's latex-based paint or oil-based paint, I will always use oil. Just my olive oil, I even use a spray olive oil and I just put it, spray it right on and I wipe it right off and it comes off instantly with a paper towel. So you can see that oil can be used to loosen glue, to loosen um, paint and all kinds of things. So why isn't it possible for it to also loosen resins and fillings. So I understood why some people were saying, hey, my fillings fell out. And if you're okay with that, and you don't mind going and having fillings replaced and things like that, then maybe you're okay to stick with it. But for me, that wasn't a risk I was willing to take. And every time you lose a filling or you have to replace a filling, there is additional drilling that needs to be done that will affect the integrity of your tooth and your tooth can only take you know so much drilling and so much space before you know your tooth cracks and as you get older you do develop little surface cracks because your teeth expand and contract every time you have something hot and cold and a filling can expand and contract only to so so much of a degree where it starts to put pressure on a tooth and so I feel that you know if you've got any of these little things going on oil getting in there, getting under there, could be detrimental. So all of those things that I read initially led me to think, you know what, this isn't for me. I'm not feeling better from it. I'm actually feeling worse. I mean, I'm always usually, knock on wood, in a great feeling, state of health, you know, a lot of energy, that kind of thing, and I was not feeling that way. And I couldn't get past that dry mouth that feeling that I lost all of my like membranes or something inside of my mouth. That really bothered me. So I want to make sure that I share that with you. You should also know that oil pulling can cause lipoid pneumonia. This can happen if tiny oil droplets are inhaled during the process of oil pulling. But my further reading led me into an understanding of what I feel is the real root issue here. And that is that oil pulling is based in Ayurvedic medicine. And that is a very complex doctrine of medical principles that we in our country are not really familiar with. We are, um, Western medicine as it is, is always kind of chasing a symptom. Like you have a problem, you know, do this and it'll go away. Whereas Ayurvedic medicine looks at the whole body. It's a mind, body, spirit, way of looking at a human being, that each person is an individual, and that when you look at the roots of when they prescribe certain things, it's done with a, within a context of looking at that person very closely and understanding what's going on in their lives, in their spirit. In fact, according to their principles, they don't treat two people with the same ailment the same. It's very individualized. They, they look for the root cause of something, 
more than they just look to deal with a symptom, which I think is wonderful. Um, so when someone's complaining of teeth problems or gum problems, for example, they'll look more to the health of the person. What's going on in the body? What's going on in the diet? Teeth are just simply an extension of their bones in your body, and there's muscles in your gums, and, and they're going to be under the same stress as every other part of your body. So if you have illnesses like diabetes or, you know, to just to pick a few, or you've got like digestive problems or anything like that, you know, that's going to affect how you metabolize foods and how your body processes things that you eat and makes minerals and makes blood and all of that is going to affect your teeth just like it affects every part of your body. So in my reading I discovered that the treatment of oil pulling is not just done like we do it. It is part of an entire process that has spiritual uh, roots in nature and without that you cannot get the benefit. First of all, they don't even use coconut oil. In India, where this has come, where Ayurvedic medicine originates, have plenty of coconuts. They have plenty of coconuts there. And yet this single thing that we're pulling out of their doctrine does not use coconut or coconut oil. And they have it in plenty in India. They use sesame oil. They can also use warm water when it's appropriate. The oil is supposed to be sour, acidic, bitter, or salty for what they use it for. Um, and coconut oil is sweet, so it's not even the right thing. And oil pulling is not done by everyone. It's individualized and done in a special way by those who need it. What, without doing it properly, without respecting uh, where its origins are coming from and the way it is employed into their medical system and how it is treated, I think it can do more harm than good and I'm not surprised it didn't work for me because I am not educated in the science of Ayurveda. I, have, I would need a, a person who has gone to school for this. There is not something simple. I mean, they go to school to learn Ayurvedic medicine. I think whenever you see something that's targeted to the masses, you have to ask yourself, wait a minute, is this right for me? We do this with all kinds of drugs in our society. I mean, just look at the cholesterol drugs. They've got everybody taking cholesterol drugs. Um, but cholesterol is a, a very important, you know, they call it a fat, but it, it does so many things in the body. And I think it's something, you know, that with a, with a, with a paintbrush, they think everybody needs a statin. So this is the same kind of thing, everybody getting on the, but they're not fully understanding how it's beneficial to someone and it's beneficial through a very individual way with a certain practice that's done at a certain time of the day um, with, with a certain ritual and there are important things that need to be respected in order to get the benefits of oil pulling. and and. You know, they talk about getting, most people are doing it because they also, they want to get rid of the bacteria in their mouth because the oil pulls the bacteria out. They also want white teeth, which is, you know, part of the reason I was doing it. But anytime you put an oil, any oil in your mouth and you keep swishing it around and swishing it around, it saponifies and that becomes a detergent. So you're really just, you know, using a detergent really in your mouth and cleaning it. That's why you can have a white teeth. I didn't notice uh, any teeth whitening for me but I didn't a, do it long enough and to see any results like that because I felt for me um, and I'm in touch with myself that way I felt it wasn't for me you're probably wondering am I going to try the sesame oil and I'm not um, I, I have like I said repairs with fillings and things like that so just my experience with using oil as a cleanser <laughs> And just knowing that it does that, I'm, I'm uncomfortable to swish it around in my mouth because I don't want to end up at the dentist's office repairing fillings that have fallen out or anything like that. So that's why I want to share this video with you guys today. I hope you will um, embrace my opinion and respect my opinion because I'm sure there are many of you out there who absolutely love it and it works for you. But one of the things that I did read is that unfortunately many people who do experience side effects from using it may not know what 
that the side effects that they're experiencing are from the coconut oil because it's it'll it'll be an imbalance of different things in the body you may for example end up with a sinus infection or a respiratory infection or something could be off you're getting headaches or whatever and this is because you're not balancing the technique of oil pulling in the proper way and you're actually using the incorrect product according to their Ayurvedic doctrine. So I wanted to share this with you. Um, it's food for thought for you guys. It led me to my understanding and what I'm comfortable with and how I'm going to go forward on it. I'm disappointed um, that it wasn't the be all to end all which I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to share a different type of video with you where I embraced it and loved it and could recommend it. Um, but that wasn't the case and I'm going to be honest about it. I really hope you found this video helpful and please subscribe because I have a lot more to come. Something of interest to everyone. And please don't forget to click that little bell icon because then you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And please visit my blog spot where I do a lot of writing and I'm also on Facebook and Twitter um, so we can stay connected there as well. So I want to thank you all so much for your continued viewership. I love you all. And I love all your support. So take care and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye now.